Hello everybody and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today we're going to be jumping into Blender to see how we can create this really cool neon kind of scene. So let's begin. So quite a few of you guys have requested Blender tutorials. Today we're just going to be creating this scene which I have done like a kind of prototype of earlier. Um, we're just going to be trying to replicate that um, in the latest version of Blender here. You can use this kind of thing for intros or for some kind of fancy scene, whatever kind of work you're doing. You can use it as some kind of uh, banner for your YouTube channel. Today's tutorial, because it's not a beginner's tutorial, today we're going to be going through things fairly quickly. I'm just going to uh, begin by just getting off this splash screen right here. And uh, we've got our default cube. Like every single Blender tutorial begins, we're just going to delete this cube and we're just going to add a new plane. So Shift A, we'll go to our Add menu and we're just going to add in Mesh, we're just going to add a plane. I'm just going to scale this up by pressing S on my keyboard and simply dragging out, just like so. And I'm also just going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to move the camera as well. So right click to select the camera right here and I'm just going to go into, sorry, the object properties right here. I'm just going to zero everything out, uh, including the rotation. So I just get that to be zero. Uh, I'm just going to drag the camera up a little bit here. We're just going to set the X rotation to be 90. And we're just going to drag this back a bit. So if we go to view camera right here, we should be able to see what it looks like through the camera. We might just move it down a bit, we'll have to see. So, that's the first step. The next step is to add some text. So, the text we're going to add is, I don't know, we're just going to create some text that says shiny films, I think. So, I'm just going to hit tab to go into edit mode. Just press backspace a couple of times. And then I'm just going to type in my text, shiny films. Press tab again, we've got our text right there. Um, then I'm going to go into the X and I'm going to set the rotation to be 90 so that it stays up like that. Then in the text panel over here, I'm just going to extrude it a little bit. I'm going to make it centered. And I don't know, we can change the font as well. So just quickly, I'm just going to change the font. Alright, so I've got Futura as my font here. Um, and the text goes little bit under the plane. You can keep it like that if you want. I'm just going to keep it like that actually. Um, you can drag it a bit below the plane if you want to um, or just have it like standing above the plane but when it's below the plane like this it kind of looks like it's kind of part of the plane. So if we go into the camera view right now and uh, yeah we can see that it's not looking quite so good. So I'm just going to move the camera down a bit. I'm just going to hit G on my keyboard and Z to move it down and I'm also going to move it along in the Y, G, Y um, and there we go. Maybe move it up just a little bit. And so now if we go into the viewport shading we can change it from solid to be rendered and we can see what this looks like when we finally will render it. Now at the moment we're in Blender Render and I don't like Blender Render because it's much more unrealistic and it gets the job done quicker, sure, but um, it's much less realistic. So I'm just going to switch over into Cycles Render. And we can see here that now we've got proper looking shadows um, and everything looks much more realistic. Now the default light that's in our scene is actually going to be removed. And what we're going to do is add a couple of lights ourselves. So I'm just going to go back into Solid. I'm just going to remove the light here, X, delete, and I'm just going to add uh, our own lamp, it's going to be a, let's see, let's make it a sun lamp, and I'm just going to drag it over here so we know what it's doing, I'm just going to go RX to rotate it on the X axis, we're just going to make it point towards the text right there. We're just going to set this one to be a kind of purpley kind of color deep purple like so. We're just going to set the strength to be 22. Uh, and let's just go into the camera view to see what this looks like. So now we're going to add two more lights. 
but these are going to be physical lights, so we can actually see them in the scene. I'm just going to get out of rendered for the moment. I'm just going to add a new mesh. This time it's going to be a cylinder. Now I'm just going to zoom out a bit and scale it on the Z a lot, so it's very long. I'm just going to scale it down so that it's quite thin but quite long. I'm just going to scale it on the Z even more and scale it down so it's as thin as we need it to be. Now I'm just going to hit RY90 so that it's parallel to the text. And I'm just going to make this one be kind of low, maybe a bit further up. And we're now going to play around with the material of this. Uh, to make it a light. So we're just going to hit a new material like so. We're just going to make this the uh, blue light, I think. And we're just going to get the surface to be emission. And now the surface will emit light. We're just going to be setting this to a kind of blue slash cyan color, like so. And the strength is going to be something like 12. That's what I had on before anyway. Um, and now we're just going to do something, we're just going to grab this, we're going to press Shift D on our keyboard, and then that will duplicate it, and then if we hit Z, it'll make us only move it on the Z axis, up and down, and we're just going to leave it like that, maybe move it up a bit more, and we're just going to create a new uh, material, we're just going to make this the orange light. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to make this an emission shader. We're going to set this to be a red, ready kind of orange. So not too orange, but quite red. And we're just going to set this to be 12. Alright, so I'm just going to go into the camera right now. I'm just going to go into rendered. And uh, you'll see that we're kind of missing something. Both of these lines are blue, which is of course not what we want. So the way to fix that is to go into the, let's just go into material, we can see it's blue, so if we just hit tab, it'll bring up edit view where we can edit everything, so make sure you've selected everything, hit A to uh, select everything or deselect everything, and then select the material you want to assign it to, and just like assign all the faces to be that material. You can tab out of it again, okay now that we've set that to be orange, we're just going to go in the camera, go into rendered, and we can see that now one is orange and one is blue. So now we're just going to play with the materials of the plane and uh, the text. And just while we're doing this, I'm just going to turn down the uh, strength of this to be around 2. So for the floor plane, we're just going to be setting the material to be a glossy one. Just hit new. I'm just going to call this uh, floor material, or just floor. And we're just going to make this glossy, like so. Make sure it's CGX, leave the color at default, and we're just going to set the roughness to be 0 0.083, like so. Now in the text, we're just going to create a new material for the text. We're just going to name it text, and we're just going to set this to be tune, and we're just going to set it to be glossy. Make sure the size is half and smoothness is zero. We're just going to go back into the camera view right now. I'm just going to hit rendered and see how this looks. So to spice things up now, we're going to add some fog or some volumetrics. And the way we can do this is to just go into the world settings right here. And if we go into surface and use nodes, we're just going to set the background quickly to be black because I don't like the uh, grey background. Then in volume, we're just going to set it to be volume scatter. You'll notice that everything is suddenly super dark. And we're just going to set the uh, density to be 0 0.2, so not that much fog. Now you can see that because the fog is there, the lights in the scene um, are lighting up the fog as well, and so the whole image has colour as well, even in the top parts. Now that we've got all that fog in there, I'm just going to change the strength of this light once again to be 22, um, because now we need to make it stronger with all of that fog. 
and in the render settings down in the film I'm just going to set the exposure to be 2 to make it all brighter and now I think we're pretty much done so I'm just going to set the uh, resolution to be 1080p I'm going to let me go into sampling and 128 samples sounds good for me for a first for a first go and we're just going to let this render and uh, I'll get back to you when it's done all right so we're pretty much done here and of course you guys can mess around with it to get it looking your own way if you want to so thank you guys for watching this video I hope this is helpful again if you guys want more blender tutorials or any other kind of tutorials for any other program feel free to leave a comment down below and if this did help you out then don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this as well as sharing this video with your friends I will see you guys in the next video stay shiny Bye.